Tally ho, tublings, and welcome back to Let's Play Isle 2 Stream of Vic Iron Man, where last time we kicked ass and took names and all that sort of stuff. Gave Jerry a jolly good rogering. Uh, never mind. Um, we, yeah, we, we, we did pretty well. We got ourselves three kills, and we were promoted, and we were given a nice, shiny... Process. Yes. Uh, defense medal. I think. Yeah. Defense medal. So we got a medal, which is nice. Two sorties, three kills. Three kills, and I think now puts us neck and neck with squadron leader HUD. So that's pretty cool. And he's got 11 sorties. We've only got two. Uh, let's hope we don't get horribly killed soon, though, by nullifying it a bit. Because historically, aces who tended to get lots of kills in a very short period also got themselves killed in a very short period. It was one of those things. The aces who survived the war had, by comparison, fairly few kills. Um, but the point was they actually survived. So that's why I don't kind of go out of my way to just get as many kills as possible. Because the point is, if we even if everyone else gets shot down, all the shit stuff gets bombed we were supposed to be protecting, if we survive and get back, that's a victory, as far as I'm concerned. Especially considering this is an Iron Man. <laughs> Let's play. So, um... Yep. Oh, if you can hear anything in the background. Um, Co-pilot for today is my dog, Hector. Um, he's, he's sat on the sofa opposite me. Um, you may occasionally hear noises from him because he's a bit of a noisy dog, but he's sleeping at the minute, so. Anyway, we've got another convoy defense mission, a.k.a. a get-jumped-by-hundreds-of-BF-109s-and-killed and killed mission. Um, at least that's what happened last time we were told to defend a convoy. Uh, that was up near Margate. This time we're going down to... Uh, down past Fairlight, I believe. And we're going to be flying around in this general area. Hopefully it'll be another big old flight of... Very badly protected Stukas, but I'm not holding out much hope. Um, you would think they'd need something a bit bigger than a BF-109 with a couple of hundred kilogram bombs. Or fifty kilogram bombs, I think, actually. To, to knock out a convoy, but... Uh, or whatever. We'll see what we find when we get up there. Um, the vanilla um, dynamic campaigns in the original game, unmodded, were very predictable. If every single mission you got that was like the same like this, pretty much were identical in terms of the forces you would face and that sort of thing. This isn't like the vanilla ones. It's, it uses an external program, I believe, to generate the new missions and all that sort of thing, and it's modded, so it may vary a bit. Um, it may vary a bit. For in, for instance, we're, we're only, there's only six of us going out on this one, as opposed to eight to twelve of us, which went out on the last convoy defense mission. So that could imply that there's some there's, there's going to be a difference somewhere, somehow. I'm hoping there's going to be a difference, because um, I'm not fond of flying against 20 veteran BF-109 pilots, um, frankly. It's not fun. It just isn't. But, anyway, we are going to be leading Yellow Flight this time. Yellow Flight consisting of me and some other guy. Um, it's not... I, I'd struggle to really call it a flight, but whatever. We're going to be Yellow 1. Flight Sergeant Fraser will be Yellow 2. He'll be flying on our wing and hopefully getting our ass out of trouble. If I get someone on my tail. But we'll see. Um, on, on the other hand... Well, you know, let's just get started, shall we? Well, even though we've got him with us and he'll be um, helping us out and doing what I tell him and stuff like that, I do kind of feel a bit of a responsibility uh, to make sure he doesn't get killed either, since we're in charge of him. I mean, good grief, if we just get all our wingmen killed, we'll never get put in charge of anything else ever again. Anyway. Uh, excuse me while I get my track IR centred again. It's all a bit off kilter, unfortunately. There we go. That's a bit better. All right, throttle zero. Engine on. I don't actually have takeoff laps. The Spitfire has landing and raised, and that is it, unfortunately. As a friend of mine once said, RAF pilots do not need bloody flaps. I would disagree, but there it is. <laughs> because with most aircraft, you get different flap settings. You get combat flaps, which is for when you're doing tight turns at low speed. You get takeoff flaps, and then you get landing flaps. But unfortunately, the Spitfire Mark 1 just gets landing flaps, and that's it. 
so not tremendously helpful but whatever um, let's see what have we got yep there's there he is that's Fraser right behind us the AI cheats of course they get they get combat flaps um, and take take off flaps and whatnot as you can see um, anyway because of the AI and they're cheating bastards because if you see I lower mine mine actually go lower than theirs do um, so yeah that's annoying, but never mind. We don't really need them to take off in this plane because the Spitfire is so freaking light anyway and has such a large wing surface, meaning it generates lots of lift, which really kind of means that actually we don't need flaps to take off at all, really. So let's go. Roll up a bit more cautiously. I forgot to check if there was any wind or turbulence, honestly, but we'll soon find out the hard way, I imagine. There we go, off the ground, and we're not being yelled at because we've got our own separate flight, which is nice. So, oh, trees. Ugh. Those are dangerously close to the end of the runway. Alright then, well, let's see if we can't get ourselves back in one piece, and secondary objective, get Fraser back in one piece, if at all possible. We do have a bit of a vested interest in actually keeping our wingmen alive and our other squadron members alive because the longer they live and the more kills and sorties they do, the more veterancy they get and that actually makes their AI in the game smarter, if you can believe that. It's true. Um, we'll make their AI in the game smarter, which means it'll make it easier for us to do our missions. Um, where the heck is, every is everyone? There they are. Um, so, yeah, that, there's that. I'm going to lower throttle a bit here and hopefully Fraser can catch up. There he is behind us. About 100 metres behind. That's alright. Um, if I could just trim this bastard out so it doesn't nose up constantly, that'd be nice as well. There we go. Okay, that's a little too far. There we go. Um, yeah, the, uh, for instance, I th I'm pretty sure that works for the enemies too actually. I'm fairly sure that does, and it might explain why we were so completely and utterly, you know, rogered um, when uh, when we went up against those 109, that 109 squadron in the uh, previous, well, the mission before the last one. Um, my hunch, aside from the fact that, I don't know, the AI in Spitfire seems to suck in general, honestly, probably something to do with the armament or the flight characteristics or whatever. Um, but aside from that, I reckon that the squadron of 109s in particular that we went up against um, was actually, well, a very, very skilled one. They probably had a lot of uh, veteran members, so... Uh, and that was an issue, of course, British pilots had to deal with in real life. Um, most of the British pilots that took part in the Battle of Britain were brand new recruits. They were still, like, 18 years old, straight out of flight school, whereas the Germans had had previous experience in Spain in the Condor Legion in the 30s, they had been in Poland, they had been through the Battle of France, um, the Low Countries, all that sort of gubbins. So by this point they were, you know, they knew their stuff, whereas the Brits were a bit sort of, well, they were, the, 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 um, the number of noobs, shall we put it, in gaming parlance within the RAF was much higher than it was within the Luftwaffe, so there it is. Anyway, um, we're on our way to Fair Thingy. What, what's it called? Fairlight. There we go. Off down this way. So it's not a very long flight, but I guess I might as well. Oh, oh, big stutter of doom. Very big stutter of doom. Oh, there we go. That probably means a bunch of aircraft has spawned in. Bunch of German aircraft, I imagine. Um, yeah, it's not a particularly long flight, but, um, whoa, autopilot, what the hell are you doing? Um, yeah, I'll be back when we've arrived in the general vicinity of our objective. So, uh, see you later, folks. Alright, we just got the call, fight is four o'clock high. I was about to take it off autopilot anyway, because my, my autopilot really is just drunk as a skunk right now. <laughs> you should have seen it, it was amazing. Sped up to eight times speed with him darting backwards and forwards, yeah. Um, 
it was a bit silly, right? Fraser's still with us, thankfully. Fight is four o'clock high, apparently. I don't see... Um, that means they should be over there somewhere, I think. Above us. Whoa! Okay, there, that's up, guys. I saw the red, and I thought I saw traces. Now, in all likelihood, it could be another completely different flight of hurricanes or something calling out fighters 4 o'clock high. Because the radio doesn't really discriminate between your squadron and other ones, but um, that still got me a little concerned, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to lower throttle here a little bit. Um, and prop pitch. Possibly open the radiator a tad so we don't overheat while we wait to see what happens, but... Um, whoa, okay. Ten is being attacked, apparently. Bombers for... Oh, bombers! Okay, well that's good. I guess, because that means less things that are deliberately going out of the way to shoot me down. There's the convoy. Where the heck's all this fighting going on? I have no idea. I'm a little concerned. Fraser's still with us. Good, good, good. He's, he's doing his best to keep up, bless him, with my crazy manoeuvring, but, uh... Oh, where's the convoy gone? Mission com Okay, mission apparently complete. We completed the hidden target, whatever it was, which is nice. Um, five o'clock, that's practically behind us. There's the convoy. Blue Squadron. Okay, that's definitely not those guys over there, and it's not us, because we're yellow. They're red. So, oh, hello. I just saw traces. Yep, there we go. I don't know if you can see them on the video, but... Yep. There's Germans. Huns in the sun. No less. Um, Fraser, do follow me over here, would you? We're going to spread out a bit behind Red Flight and see if we can gain a bit of altitude before getting jumped on and killed by this lot. I'd love to know where these bombers are that got called out. Oh, that must be them. <laughs> There's rather a lot of them, isn't there? Uh, it doesn't look like Stukas either. Probably hind calls. Yep. They've got two engines, whatever they are. Alright, Fraser, you still with me? He is. He's lagging behind a little bit, but he's still with me. Oh my goodness. Would you look at that? That's the fighter escort up there. I'm increasingly concerned about them, but let's see if we can go after a few bombers. Hopefully Fraser will stick with us. And warn us if anything comes after us. Right, I don't want to get murdered by tail gunners right now, so I'm going to head in here. Take some quick shots and then zoom off. I'm not going to stick around if I can help it. If someone gets separated from the pack, then maybe. But I don't want to hang around with that many tail gunners lurking about. See, they're already shooting at me. There we go. For some shots, we've got both of his engines smoking. That'll do all my engine is. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that. Oh boy, I hate this whole negative G cutout thing. Damn it, aircraft designers. If the Germans could figure this shit out, and the Americans could figure this shit out, and the Japanese could figure it out, why couldn't you? Seriously, it's 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 weird. It's it's peculiar to the British and the Russians in this game. Their early aircraft suffer from this problem. And it just it's weird because aside from that little issue, the Spitfire is a fantastically designed aircraft. So Right, we've got one straggler, he's the guy we shot at. I think he might actually be returning to base. Oh, 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 there's I think that's Fraser. Hello Fraser. Still with us then. 
Looks like he's running away, if that is indeed the one we shot at. Either way. Let's go back around. I don't know where Redfly have buggered off to. I don't see them anywhere, but fine. If they're dealing with the fighters... Oh no, there they are. And... Okay, I see one smoking up there. I think that might be the one we shot at. The guy over there running away is someone else entirely. Right. Let's go boost. Get some altitude here. These bombers aren't very fast, so it won't take long to catch up with them, but... We want to get as much speed as possible before attacking, just because that'll make it more difficult for their gunners to shoot us. And the problem with bomber gunners is that they have an annoying habit of shooting you straight through the cockpit window and killing you outright, just murdering your pilot on the spot. Screen goes black. End of let's play. Seriously, it's that quick. Is Fraser, Fraser still with us? He is! Good man. I like him already. Okay then. Most of my wingmen have an annoying habit of buggering off. I mean, I guess I can't blame them, because that's what I tend to do when I'm supposed to be someone's wingman, but still. Fight is 12 o'clock. Uh, are there fighters mixed in amongst these bombers? Difficult to say. Let's turn off the boost. Alright, I choose you! Guy who is 70 meters away and in closing. Oh boy. Bit close for comfort. Get out of the way, get out of the Oh god. If he didn't hit something vital, I will be very surprised. I took several hits then. The aircraft went thump and wobbled. He's still with us, Fraser. No idea. Probably not. I'd... He might be shooting at bombers, in which case I don't blame him. In fact, you know what? Let's just make sure of that wingman. Attack bombers. There's no fighters around here, so we've got kind of free reign, mostly. Might as well. See if we can go for a head. Ooh, good grief. There, he's bailing out. Don't know who got him, but well done. Oh boy, hello. Yes, yes, I see you and your, your machine guns shooting at me. Four hundred and twenty kph. Maybe we can use that speed to get a sneaky underbelly attack. No, apparently not, because I can't see anything because of the freaking sun. Oh god. Oh, engine. I'm so sorry. I just... I, I had to do it. Jeez. This is stupid. I shouldn't be hanging around on his tail like this, but... Alright, okay. Fuel tank leak. That was... Whoa, 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 engine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Crop pitch down, boy. Down. Good grief. Okay, prop pitch is going a bit crazy. I don't really know why. We definitely have a fuel leak. Shoot, I'm at like 60% throttle here and 55% prop pitch and my engine is whizzing around like a freaking helicopter. This is not good. I don't think we're going to be able to catch him at this rate either. We're going too fucking slow. Jeez, I could throttle up and just see what happens, but I have a feeling my engine might go pop and explode or something. Oh, it's overheating either way. Jesus Christ almighty. Did we get like a carburetor hit or something? Oh boy, engine not properly up. The, the temperature just went up to 120 degrees. Holy shit. Um, well then. 
I knew something was wrong with it. I could tell just by listening to it. Alright then, that was not... I don't know, maybe one of the ones we shot at will crash or something later on, but... I don't know, attacking bombers is annoying and risky and these guns really aren't up to the job, so all things considered, that went better than, it, better than expected. But um, now the only issue is... What to do now? I mean, we can't glide all the way back to Biggin Hill, that would be silly. Um, what we might be able to do though, because we've got a little bit of altitude to work with here, we might be able to glide on down to Limpney here and uh, pancake on their runway. Flying dead stick like this. Can I feather the prop? Um, but that only works on bombers. I think I'll open the canopy though. Either way. Listen to that wind rushing through our hair. <laughs> okay, I don't know if we'll make it back to Limpney, to be honest. They're a bit far along and we're not doing so well for altitude and speed here, but we'll see. We're a very light aircraft, which means it will take, a, it will take significantly longer for us to crash than it would with something heavier. So we'll see. We're very light, we've got big wings for lots of lift, so... We might be able to glide a respectable all distance here, we'll see. I'm actually going to speed this up a bit. It could take a what? Ooh, okay, not that much. Let's see how we do. If I can land this on the airfield, holy shit. Best pilot 2014. <laughs> I will like we'll make it that far though, to be honest. We pick up a bit more speed by diving down a little bit and then coming up. Looks like we might have to crash land in a field, folks. But I'm definitely thinking crash land in a field. Except there's a lot of trees! Ah, oh, tantalizingly close. There's the airbase right there. Alright, this is going to be tricky. I need to do this without fucking killing myself by s slamming into a tree trunk. <sighs> Christ almighty. Uh, I think we need to put the landing flaps down at this point, at this low speed. Oh boy, we're actually approaching the airfield here. <laughs> Just don't crash into any obstacles, goddamn. That would be bad. Alright, 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 alright. Oh! Oh, god. That was. In a complete crash land on the wrong airfield. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, I'm glad I'm not up there. Well then, hello, REF Limpney, how are you doing? I don't think we've been formally introduced. <laughs> yeah, well, god, for a second there, I literally thought we were just going to go plonk into the ground and explode. Um, but it looks like uh, I did time it right. Crash landings like that are always nerve-wracking, because, yeah, if you don't get it right with your speed and when you're coming in, and your angle, yeah, you can just go plonk into the ground and explode, and then that'll be it, end of Let's Play. But, uh, nope, we're good. We landed with nothing worse than probably some wrecked flaps and a damaged prop. And obviously the engine, which has been totaled by that Heinkel gunner, but still. Let's see what else is going on. JXL. That might have been Fraser. I don't know. Probably was. Ouch. Looks like this lot are play playing around with the 109s and they're seriously outnumbered. Looks like we might have got out there just in time, actually. Good grief. I don't know who that is down there. JXR. Red 2, apparently. Just bail out, man. Just just bail out. You can't win. There's too many of them. Just go. Get out of there. Oh, boy. 
Oh boy. All that negative G is not doing his engine any favours either. Oh my goodness. Who is that following him? Oh, he's on fire. I, I was going to try and see what type of BF-109 that was, but... Look like, looks like an E3, because I can see the cannons jutting out of his wings. Dude, bail out, bail out, bail out. For the, for the love of Christ, bail out. Look, even part of your wing has come off. Why are you even trying at this point? Unless... No, he's still on our side of the lines. Or our side of the channel, really. I should say. Just get out, dude! He might not be able to, to be fair, actually. Is it? His pilot might be... Well, no, no, his plane's still moving around, so he's not dead. Yeah, see, your engine's dead now. Now would be the time. They seem to be buggering off. They're coming around for the next attack. You've got a little bit of time to get out, so why don't you do it? <sighs> there we go, this will be it. Okay, that 109 pilot officially has worse aim than even me. Um, but seriously, like if this guy dies now, I'm it's it's gonna it's boring on Darwin Award material. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Uh, what else is going on? JXS circling around over somewhere. Is that? Oh, I think he's probably going to land. It looks like Biggin Hill down there. So, all right, yeah, that's London. That's definitely London. That massive brown expanse. So JXS, whoever that is, is going to land. JXL is still mussing around up there. Can I... Wingman... Uh, possibly Pair? No, possibly Pair 2? Um, navigation... Return to base. Right, well, Fraser's alive, and to boot, he's Australian! Nice! <laughs> so, he's up here somewhere. I've just told him to return to base. I don't know which one he is, though. I'm pretty sure this must be Red 1 here, JXE, but I could be wrong. Or Red 2. I hope this isn't Fraser. It could be, you know. He's still gliding out towards France for some reason. JXS. I'm hoping this is Fraser, honestly. I'm hoping this is Fraser. Let's see if he manages to land it. like it and with a really nice landing to boot well done JXS I really wish I'd checked who my wingman's you know my wingman's uh, letter number thingy before we started actually but never mind um, well well done to you whoever you are <laughs> there's me I think this might be Fraser because he's definitely headed home now and Red 2 is still over here shouting, get this bastard off me, so this must be Red 2. Ooh, I really hope that's not Fraser. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find out in a second. Why the hell didn't he bail out? I have no idea. He's, I tell you what, actually, his pilot might have been wounded. That's happened to me before. My pilot was wounded and I couldn't actually bail out. Either that or the canopy got stuck or something. Um, could well have happened, but... The uh, question is... Wingman, no. Pair 2, navigation, return to base. 
He's still alive, so that wasn't him. So that means... That either this is Fraser, or... This is Fraser! Because this one's red too. Sweet. Well, let's find out what happened to red too. In fast forward mode. I don't know what he's trying to accomplish out here, but whatever. He might be trying to finish his waypoints because he's an AI and he's stupid like that. Oh, looks like he's going to suffer the same fate as the other fella. Oh, enemy aircraft destroyed. Awesome. I think one of the high ankles crashed. <laughs> nice. To his credit, he's lasting a remarkably long time with no engine and that many 109s trying to kill him. Although, look at, the <laughs> look at all the holes. Oh, dear. These guys must be out of cannon ammo, otherwise he'd be dead by now. He might be able to ditch. I think that's what he's trying to do. So, I mean, I would have bailed out ages ago, but, um, you know, if you want to ditch, then, then try it, I suppose. Yep. Did you get... Yes, he got out! Excellent! Red 2. Well done, mate. Bailed out. Oh, yeah, you can see the lovely new shaded water. I mean, it still looks a bit naff by modern standards, but it's still better than it was before. It's a big, flat, 2D surface, I guess. Um, looks better than it did. So, and, yep, that's us, and this is JXL, who is, yeah, he's about to land anyway, so I won't torture you any longer, let's find out what happened. Enemy 30 to 40 hindcalls, good grief, 15 to 20 BF 110s, I didn't even see those, um, 15 to 20 BF 109s, seriously, so that is at maximum estimates, let's see, 60, 80 aircraft. Versus our six aircraft. Wow. That's... I don't know how historically accurate that is. I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but the RAF was heavily outnumbered. And the guys in 11 group, which is every airbase in this kind of area here, which, which will include us, um, they did go up heavily outnumbered like that, and they just sort of resorted to hit-and-run tactics, actually, against the enemy bombers, and then another flight of Spitfires or Hurricanes would come in and do the same thing. They'd whittle them down, and then eventually, once the German bombers got inland, um, the guys from 12 Group up here would then fly in in mass formations and finish them off. Um, but I don't think that's happening yet until later in the campaign, because um, the Germans certainly aren't going after London yet. They're still bombing our convoys at this point. They'll move on to airfields after that, and that'll be a that'll be a barrel of laughs, I'm sure. Um, and then after that, they should move on to trying to bomb London itself. And then after that, provided we survive that long, which I highly doubt, frankly, but whatever, um, that'll be it for the Battle of Britain. Um, HUD, HUD, George, HUD got another two kills. Nice, well done, Squadron Leader HUD. So hopefully, he's not dead. He's not. No, Flight Sergeant George and Pilot Officer Freeman were both killed, though. Looks like HUD was the one who ditched in the sea. Oh, I see. Right. Freeman was shot down by an HE-111's gunner. Yeah, HUD was the one who... Yeah, he was the one who... D -d 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 ditched. Looks like Freeman... Presumably bailed out and just his parachute didn't open or something because he's got a different logo. A hurricane was shot down, so it wasn't just six Spitfires then. There were some hurricanes apparently. Um, yeah, they must have been Blue Squadron or Blue Flight or whatever. Um, wow, yeah, the hurricanes got massacred, didn't they? Good grief. 110 got shot down. H111 got shot down by Fraser. Well done! He got one in the end. Nice. And this guy, yep, yeah, this one crashed on his way back in. This guy just crashed for whatever reason. Um, nice. So, that's another kill. That makes four. Or, or six, if you include the previous ones. Um, nice. So, HUD got two kills, George got a kill, we got a kill, and our wingman Fraser got a kill. Nice. 
Fought hard, you must be eager to celebrate your success. I I jolly well am, sir. Um Yeah, let's see, so six bit fires and nine hurricanes, so that's uh, how many is that? My maths is failing me. Fifteen planes in total versus eighty maximum. <laughs> Good grief. Still pretty ridiculous, isn't it? No wonder they all got shot down. Um, never mind, that wasn't really... I, I'm, to be honest, I think we came out of that one the losers, really, just judging by the number of planes shot down, but... It really depends. Did the convoy survive or not? If the convoy survived, then I guess it's a win, but... Um, whatever. Let me go play a landed at RAF Limpney. <laughs> oh dear. Well, never mind. Let's apply. See what happens. Hud was wounded and sent to a hospital. Oh dear, poor old Hud. Well, at least he's alive, I guess. Well, if he, so he's been sent to a hospital, which means he's out of the campaign, basically. Um, he may rejoin us in the next part of the campaign because that's what usually happens to the player um, when they get wounded and sent to a hospital. You rejoin your squadron later on in the campaign. Um, Sterling joined the squadron. Smith joined the squadron. Uh, Thorn, Thornhill joined the squadron. So no medals or promotions for us. Never mind. We will be flying on flight. Lieutenant Grace's wing um, is in the second position. Just the four of us. We are off to protect another convoy, apparently. Protecting the air. Patrol in the airspace near Fornes. So, again, it's vaguely... Yeah, it's near Margate. Which was where we got massacred <laughs> that other time. We'll see what happens though. Um, next time, next time on IL2 Stemovic, we will be out on another convoy protection patrol, and um, this time we won't have a wingman to command around, sadly. But um, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. At least Fraser survived, that's the main thing. We and Fraser both made it out alive, so that's cool. Anyway. Tally ho, twiddle pip, blah blah blah, bye. I'll see you all, you guys all next time. I don't know. I'm recording this immediately after the previous video, but I don't I have no idea when this video will actually go up, just based on how freaking slow the internet is where I'm living right now. Um, it takes like a day and a half to upload a single video, so yeah. Anyway, uh, next time then, regardless. Ta ta.